Hey, what's up? I'm Karina. I'm a makeup artist. My channel here on YouTube is focused all on natural, classy, and wearable makeup looks. If you're into that kind of makeup, then hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top eight lipsticks for everyday use. The reason all of the lipsticks I'll show you are good for every day is because they're super low maintenance, which means you don't need a mirror to put them on. You don't need a lip liner. You can reapply when you feel like you need to. You don't have to make sure it's perfect all throughout the day like you would like a red lip or something. So they're low maintenance. I have a variety of colors. I have a variety of finishes. I've got mattes, satins, creams, lusters, and I'm going to try them all on for you so you can get a sense of what they look like. These are the kind of lipsticks that are perfect for throwing in your purse and taking with you throughout the day for work for meetings, for lunches. They're just great daytime lipsticks. They're all pretty neutral. And of course you can wear them in the evening too. Let's get started. With all of the lipsticks I talk about today, I will link everything down below, just like I do with every video, in case you wanna go and pick it up yourself. The first lipstick I'm gonna talk about is called Patisserie. This one is the easiest lip to wear. I use this on a ton of bridal clients because it is just that cute kind of pinky nude, but it's more pink than nude. It's by MAC, it's from their Luster line. And the reason it's so comfortable and easy to wear is because it's super lightweight, it's super sheer. So your natural lip shade will show through a little bit and it has what they call a lustrous finish, which means there's like tiny flecks of like a shimmer, not really a shimmer, but like some kind of little reflective particles to give your lip that extra shine. So if you're looking for something sheer, comfortable, hydrating, and more on the pink side, then try patisserie. The next one on my list, and by the way, these are not in any particular order. I don't have like a favorite and a least favorite. I'm just kind of speaking about them at random. But this next one is called Barbara by NARS and it's definitely a very creamy, almost kind of buttery lipstick, but it is full coverage, so it will mute out your own natural lip color. And the finish of this one is more like a satin, which means it's not completely matte and it's not completely like creamy or shiny, it's just kind of right in between. So this is definitely what I would call more of your true, pink nude lip. The next lipstick I have is by YSL and it's one of their shine lipstick balms. It's very, very shiny, even shinier than the first lipstick I tried on, Patisserie, the one that was like a luster. This one almost looks like a lip gloss. It's very, very hydrating, very comfortable. And the smell of it is so good. It almost smells like um, like a fruity kind of mango or peach or something like that. I really love this lipstick. And obviously this one is more like high-end luxe. So this is kind of a nice one to throw in your purse because while it is still an everyday pinky nude color, it kind of makes you feel a little bit more luxury. This one is in the color nude and I think it's probably the pinkiest lipstick that I have out of all of my eight that I'm gonna show you. Next one on my list is more of like a true nude lipstick. It's called Honey Love and it's a matte lipstick by MAC. The matte lipsticks at MAC aren't really super matte. They do have another line called the Retro Matte, which is actually more of like a dry matte look. This one I would say is kind of in between like a matte satin kind of thing, which is nice because it's really comfortable to wear. I put a little bit of fake tanner on my face today, so personally I think I'm a little bit too dark to be wearing this nude of a color, but I wanted to include it in my video because it is such a classic nude color and it's beautiful on lighter skin tones or maybe if I had a little bit more going on in my eyes then I could probably pull this off. But if you're looking for more of like a beigey nude with just like a hint of pink in it, then Honey Love is a really beautiful choice. Next one I have to talk about is one from Morphe called Honey. And this is definitely more of like a beigey brownie nude. Sometimes I really like to mix Honey and Barbara, the, the second one I showed you by NARS. Just kind of depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes this one's a little bit too kind of brown beige for me, so I just want to add a touch of pink, but I want, don't want it to be quite as pink as this one. But for an overall just beige, straight nude lip, this is a good choice and it's a matte lipstick, but same thing as Honey Love by MAC. It actually feels really buttery, really creamy, and it'll give you full saturation, which means your natural lip color won't shine through. So it's a good one if you're looking to really mute the lip. And it really is just a good everyday color. You can wear it with any makeup look. I would just suggest when you are going with more of the nude lips like this that don't have any kind of rose or pink to them, to make sure you do have some color on your cheeks, just so that your whole face doesn't look completely washed out. The next one on my list is one by Bobbi Brown and it's called Almost Bare and it's part of her Lux Lip Color Collection. This one is a satin finish so it does feel very buttery and creamy and it'll just give you a little bit more shine than the matte lipsticks would. 
And as you can see, it's definitely more of that peachy kind of coral lip. I bought this in the beginning of summer and I wore it a lot throughout summer just because peach and coral tones make me feel a little bit more summery. And even though while I filmed this video, today is the first day of fall, I still wanted to include it in the collection just because I didn't have any other lipsticks that were kind of more on that peachy nude side of things. So this is a really beautiful one as well. And I love the packaging. I love everything gold and it's really nice and uh, feels kind of luxe as well. Second to last, I have another one by MAC called Midi Mauve and it's another luster so same family as patisserie was the first one i showed you which means it's just going to give you that kind of reflective shine again it's lightweight sheer comfortable to wear super hydrating i definitely do find the lusters the easiest kind of most low maintenance lipsticks to wear um, this one is kind of more on that mauvey plum side of things. I actually just picked this up a couple days ago. I thought it was perfect because we're coming into fall when you kind of tend to go for the plums and browns and colors like that. And speaking of fall, the last lipstick that I wanted to include is another one by MAC called Taupe. And it's kind of like a taupey, brownie, reddy lipstick. It's a beautiful fall color. You technically could wear this one with a lip liner, but it's definitely not necessary. The formula is matte, so again, it feels really comfortable. It's definitely full coverage, so you won't have any of your natural lips shine through. And even though it is the darkest lipstick that I've showed you today, it's definitely still an everyday lip, and I absolutely love this color. I use it all the time, especially, like I said, more in the fall and winter season. Okay, so those are my top eight everyday lipsticks. They're perfect to throw in your purse. They go with any makeup look you wanna wear. They're all really comfortable and easy to wear. Don't need a lip liner, like I said. I do have a lot of lipsticks, so it was actually hard to narrow it down to those eight that I showed you. But I think depending on kind of what color you're looking for or that will match your skin tone the best, you really can't go wrong with any of those. If you like this video, please like it. If you are into those more natural kind of makeup looks, I really just want to teach you tools that you can use to kind of switch up your makeup routine a little bit without going crazy or feeling like totally overdone. I keep it simple and wearable. Comment below. Let me know what your all-time favorite everyday lipstick is. I would love to know. Definitely subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.